Maggie was the baby in the family. She was everybody's baby. This is the road where the fight against sleepy drivers was born. This is the road where 20-year-old Maggie McDonald was killed in a head-on collision. Her mother mourned, and then she started a movement to change the law. She was life at the party. <laughs> Actually, three years old, she was dancing on the coffee table. She loved to show off. And then as she got older, she was beautiful and sexy, and she knew how to play the room. She turned all eyes when she walked by it. A driver swerved across a New Jersey highway and slammed head-on into her car. Remarkably, the driver who killed Maggie got off with a $200 fine. She was 20 years old. She was in college with hopes to be a social worker. She was daddy's little girl. You can never forget that pain that you feel every day and the loss. My father has just, he, he'll never recover. It was horrible to see your father just sob and cry. He identified her body and he'll never, ever recover from that. I was told that, you know, she died from it massive injuries and you just can't get that out of your head. My husband had a stroke after he identified her body. My children lost their baby sister. Her boyfriend lost the love of his life. Her friends were devastated. All her friends and her boyfriend's families, it, it affects everyone. No one's life is the same after this. Jersey now has a law that makes driving while sleep deprived a crime in fatal accidents. The law is named for Carol McDonald's daughter, Maggie. The man that killed Maggie, he was impaired and he fell asleep at the wheel. And there's no law in the state of New Jersey stating you can't do this. This is a defense attorney hammered to the jury over and over. There's no law stating you can't sleep and drive. I decided to change the law. After the second trial, we were devastated. And at that point, we had given up close to four years of our lives. And my mom was having a really hard time. And she then decided to go speak with a politician because we just knew that this man had not been punished for what he had done. He admitted in court that he knew he was too tired to drive, which is not acceptable to me. We now have Maggie's law. It took three and a half years, but she was able to get this law passed. New Jersey State Senator Stephen Sweeney wrote Maggie's law. You can go to jail for up to 10 years, $150,000 fine. It's much more severe than just getting a DUI. And Maggie's law may soon be a federal statute to combat what's become a national epidemic. Today with this law, God willing, we move forward to correct this injustice, not only in New Jersey, but set a benchmark throughout the nation. Like I said, not guilty doesn't mean innocent. He broke every rule in the book, but he didn't break the law because there wasn't a law. But there is now, and it's Maggie's law. It's devastating to have your child killed. It destroys your life. You're never the same person. If you're too tired to drive, you're an impaired driver. Impaired drivers kill people. Get off of the road, pull over, take a rest, or don't even get behind the wheel. Just because you're tired doesn't give you the right to kill someone 